a South Carolina convenience store left vandalized by angry protesters. The outrage over the death of a 14-year-old boy shot in the back and killed by the store's owner. Law enforcement officials say 58-year-old Rick Chow wrongly believed Cyrus Carmack Belton was shoplifting four bottles of water. He did not shoplift anything. We have no evidence that he stole anything whatsoever. There was a verbal confrontation inside the convenience store. Um, the victim went outside. He took off running. Chow was arrested and charged with murdering the eighth grader after investigators say Chow chased him for several blocks before shooting him. Um, the son of the owner of the convenience store gave chase. The father who owns the convenience store joined in the chase. He was armed with a pistol. They chased a young man um, towards Spring Tree Apartments. Young man fell down. He got back up. At some point, the son said that he had a gun, that the victim had a gun, and we did recover a gun that was close to his body. At that point, the father shot uh, the young man in the back, regardless even if he had shoplifted four bottles of water, which is what he initially took out of the cooler and then he put them back. Even if he'd done that, that's not that's not something you shoot anybody over, much less a 14-year-old, but you just don't do that. Yo, YouTube, YouTube, what's going on? Trey back again to you on another video. Hope y'all are having a very great day. Hope y'all had a very great weekend also. My day is going absolutely marvelous. Big shout out to all the channel members, all subscribers of the Trey King Show family, and much love. To each and every last one of you all. And you all, we have a story out of South Carolina by way of Richland County. Yes, it's always going down in Richland County. And big shout out to everybody in the great state of South Carolina. Everybody inside of Richland County. Now, before I start this story, I want to say a special thank you all to my channel members and also to my subscribers for sending me this story. And also, keep these stories coming. Now, also, before I start this story, I want to send a condolences out to the family of Cyrus Belton, to his family and friends. Because it's very sad what happened. Yes. To this 14 year old boy just basically a damn child now this story really has me upset even though i'm going to try to hold my composure because i do not understand why in the hell did this happen and how in the hell did it happen because it's so many twists and turns now what i want us to do is put our thinking caps on because it sounds like they're trying to lie on this young man yes even though they have charged the killer rick child the owner of this store 58 years old they have charged him with murder for shooting cyrus shot him in the back after Rick Child and his son chased him from the store. Now, you might be thinking, why in the hell would a store owner put himself in his position? But this is not Rick Child's first time doing some mess like this. Yes, just back in 2015, eight years ago, Rick Child been a gangster. You get what I'm saying? He been about that life. Now, in 2015, Rick Child suspected somebody of shoplifting back then. And guess what Rick Child did? Chased the guy from the store across the street from the parking lot and also started shooting at him and ultimately shot up a damn car. Now, I don't know if the guy was shot or whatnot, but they say Rick Child let off about six or seven shots. So, you know, Rick was trying to kill somebody. Now, just fast forward three years later, 2018, Rick Child is seen on video. Yes, him, his son, and his family jumping on a guy, whooping the hell out that man inside of a store. Yes, and the guy was a black guy. Rick Child been about that life. Now, fast forward just five years later, where we come to this point now, just last Monday, Rick Chow, yes, suspected a 14-year-old guy, and that guy goes by the name of Cyrus Belton, suspected Cyrus Belton of shoplifting four bottles of damn water, probably was Aquafina or the Sunny, something like that. But anyway, suspected this young man of stealing four bottles of water, but the boy did not steal a damn thing, so let's make that very clear. Let me say it once again for the people in the back who ain't hearing me correctly. Cyrus Belton, the boy that wound up dead, did not steal a damn thing. But it's what they said really troubles me, really has me upset because I understand these people are going to twist their stories. They're going to take them and turn them. Now, you might be thinking, well, Trey, how did it come to this damn point then? Well, sit back. I'm about to tell you right now. Now, they say that Cyrus Belton was inside the store. Yes, he had four bottles of water. And it never once said that he was trying to conceal these items, trying to hide them in the store. No. He put the drinks back inside of the cooler when he decided he did not want him. So upon him doing that, Rick Child's son, yes, we need to name him also. I wish I knew his name so I could put him on blast also. Now, Rick Child's son, being a son of Rick, you know he's about that life too. Now, instead of the owner telling his son to leave the boy alone, because, you know, the son get that from his daddy. You get what I'm saying? They say the apple don't fall too far from the tree. 
instead of the son owner leaving the boy alone, let him leave outside the store, they get into an uh, argument or whatnot. And you might be thinking, well, damn, an argument leads to somebody getting killed? Yes, when you're dealing with petty people. Now, the story goes, after Cyrus got through arguing with Rick Child's son, he proceeded to leave the store, took off running, and that's when Rick Child and his son chased after, yes, Cyrus built the left the store premises, chased after this 14-year-old boy, ran them down the street, round some apartments and whatnot, and they say that's when Cyrus built and had fell to the ground, and Rick Child stood over him and shot him in the back. So you already know somebody's shooting you in the back. Guess what? That means your back is turned to them. You're not facing them. But they want you to believe that once Rick Child seen a gun, that's when he shot Cyrus. But I don't believe that. I believe they chased the boy down, shot him in the back, and that's when he fell. In some kind of way, a gun popped up on the scene. So when the police uh, said something about a gun, I'm like, how did he have a gun? Because the way the story is being told, they're like, they was just a good boy or whatnot. And I really feel that he was a good boy. And one thing I hate is for people to lie on a dead man. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Dead boy, dead girl, whatever. You get what I'm saying? But the point is right here. See, Cyrus not here to tell his story. But we have to put our thinking caps on and really think. Now, what would be more fitting? A guy, they're accused of stealing water, puts the water back. The owner's son, instead of him letting the boy leave, because guess what? He's going to leave. He didn't want nothing. Instead of them letting the boy leave, the owner's son get into it with the boy, have an argument with the boy, trying to fight the boy. And then the boy be so scared, he takes off running. And the owner and the son chase after the boy. You know what I'm saying? Now think about that. So they want us to sit up and believe that this boy had a gun on him when Rick Child seen the gun. That's when Rick shot him in the back. I don't believe it. I believe he was already shot and then a gun produced itself. Now, where that gun come from, I don't know. But I doubt very seriously if that gun really belonged to this boy. Because it's not like he could legally purchase the damn gun. And also, do you think... That this boy really had a gun on him. You know, guess what? They wasn't chasing him about a gun. It wasn't even about a damn gun. They was chasing him because the son got into it, an argument with Cyrus. That's what it was all over. Four bottles of water and the boy put the water back so he did not steal a damn thing. But guess what though? Rick Child is being charged with murder. But only if South Carolina police would have been did something back in 2015 because Rick Child felt he had an incentive to sit up here and keep shooting after people. And also, ask yourself this family, who in the hell shoot at customers because they suspect them of shoplifting out their damn store. You gonna kill somebody over a little Debbie cake? Some gummy bears? Anyway, we'll break the rest down as I read a snippet from this story. I'm gonna read a quick snippet from this story, and I am going to get my opinion. All of it. Mm. Surely, as we go, South Carolina store owner who killed team previously shot at people. You heard that? Previously shot at people, he suspected. Now, they didn't say was well, shoplifted. They said he suspected of shoplifting, says authorities, not the Trey King show, because one thing about the Trey King show, we don't allow nobody, we don't speculate, we speak number what? Yes, fact, fact, facts all day, every day, like a lot of people in St. Louis say. Now, anyway, a South Carolina teenager who police say was fatally shot by a gas station owner, who they say had falsely accused him of shoplifting, was remembered by his middle school as a well known and well-liked student who was intelligent and very humorous. Young man could have went places in his life, but guess what? Rick Child didn't want to allow that. And also, when you have these type of businesses in your neighborhood, I don't think you have to do, guess what? When the police don't want to do nothing, you have the ultimate power. That dollar, money talks. Don't patronize their business. And guess what they will have to do after so long? They'll try to put the stuff on sale. They ain't going to give it away for free. They'll try to put the stuff on sale. And then if they can't sell it, then guess what? They have to pack up and go somewhere else. Learn to take control of your community. And also, people inside these communities, Start owning your own businesses. You get what I'm saying? That way you ain't got to deal with these people. Own your own businesses. But true enough, I understand nobody want nobody taking anything from them. I don't want nobody taking nothing from me. But at the same time, you cannot sit up here and shoot at the people, shoot at people just because you think they are shoplifting from you. Because the first incident in 2015, he suspected a guy shoplifting. Never said the guy was shoplifting. And shot at that man six, seven times. And fast forward eight years later from 2015, he finally ended up killing somebody and the police should have been did something about this all over some damn water and some damn Debbie cakes. Anyway, now the victim, Cyrus Carmack Belton, 14 years old, way too young, way too young to be gunned down by a 58 year old damn man. A sad situation. Died after being shot in the back on Monday. How in the hell you shoot somebody in the damn back? All over a damn argument when they say the boy put the water back. It shows on camera he put the water back. So why was your son arguing with the boy? That's why I want to know. And sir, Rick Child, why did you not tell your son to sit the hell down some damn well? And guess what? Business would have went on. Life would go on. But sooner or later, something was bound to happen. Because if you quick to pull a gun on somebody just because you think they are shoplifting, 
And you also jumping on customers just because y'all have an argument. You and your whole family jump on a guy, beat him up bad. Why wasn't y'all ass arrested? That's what I want to know. Now, anyway, let's continue. The team was chased from the gas station by the owner and his son after they wrongly believed he had shoplifted several bottles of water and was shot during the pursuit. A sad damn situation. Bottles of damn water. Hell, I would have paid for the damn water. Now, ask yourself this right here. Why would you open up a business somewhere where you don't trust the people that's in the damn neighborhood? They don't give a damn. They only want your damn money. You get what I'm saying? That's why I be trying to tell you all. They don't care about you. You have to get your own self together. You have to own your own businesses. And you won't have this problem. Now, true enough, you might have your own people. And I mean your own people, your own race, stealing from you or whatnot. But ask yourself this. If you was a store owner, men and women, if you was a store owner, would you shoot at a customer even if you did see them shoplifting? Hell no. I wouldn't even lock the door. I'd call the damn police and I'd tell them, look here, we got you on camera. Don't bring your ass back in here. You feel me? I'm not going to chase after nobody and shoot them just because they don't sat up here and stole some. Or if I thought they did steal some, who does that? Anyway, let's finish up before I get in trouble. Now, the store owner, 58-year-old Rick Child. You should know better, Rick Child, old as you is. Look at every bit. I don't care about nobody. Don't four bottles of water cost me $4. 78 in the face. Has since been arrested and charged with murder in connection with the teen's death. And then they got the nerd to sit up here and say that while they were chasing the boy, he fell down. Now, they had no business even chasing Cyrus from the damn store. Why didn't you call the damn police? But hold on. What you going to call the police for? Just because your son is arguing with the guy? Now, guess what your son could have did, Rick? He could have shut the hell up and wouldn't have been no argument. Because guess what? Like my daddy told me, my mama told me, it takes two people to argue. So, Rick, they learned all this from you. And you see where it got them? You got you nowhere, right? Yes. Now, let's finish up. Cyrus was a student at Summit Parkway Middle School in Columbia, where he was in his STEM magnet program, says the school. And we're going to end this on what the school has to say. And you all draw your own conclusions. The school says this. He was intelligent, humorous, with quick wit, and well-liked by his classmates. Also, the school says, we remember the infectious smile and tenacity that Cyrus has. Now, ask yourself this right here. Look at this picture of this boy. Do you really think this 14-year-old came in there with a gun trying to steal some bottles of water? Now, if he had a gun, people don't have guns on them just for show. They had them guns on them for protection and also to use them. Now, if he was such a bad guy, don't you think that when y'all started chasing him, that he would have turned around and started shooting at y'all too? It would have been just a shootout and maybe it would have been more than him dead. But they want you to believe that this boy come in there trying to steal bottles of water. He puts the water back. Do that make sense? And also, they want you to believe that the son got into an argument with Cyrus and Cyrus proceeded to leave the store, took off running. They chase after him and then ultimately gets him by apartment. They say he falls down, which I don't believe that. And once he falls to the ground, a gun produces itself. And that's when they say Rick Child shot him. So think about that. Now, why would they bring a gun to the scene like that? Why would they add a gun to the story? Now, I'm going to tell you all what I believe in closing. I believe that since the fact that they've been doing people like this for so long in this neighborhood, ever since 2015, anytime they have a problem with somebody, they jump on them. Anytime they suspect somebody of shoplifting, they shoot at them. So they had an incentive to do this because nothing happened before. So why would something happen now? You get it? So does it make more sense that a person will be running? And also, if you're running and you got a gun on you, chances are the gun will fall while you're running instead of you falling down or whatnot. So they want you to believe that he was running. And then once he fell, a gun produced itself. And that's when Rick seen the gun. And that's when Rick shot him in the back. I don't believe that. I believe he was shot in the back. And that's when he hit the ground. And they planted a gun on him. People need to find out that's gun really the boys. Because I don't believe it's that boy gun or whatnot. Because it's not like he can go legally buy one. But ask yourself this right here. Why didn't the police then put a stop to Rick Child? The first time that he got into it with somebody... And he thought a person was shoplifting and you chase a guy from the store. You shoot at him six, seven times and you shooting up cars. Don't that sound like somebody needs to be put out of business and need to be put somewhere else instead of, you know, a store owner? Don't that sound like a person that is really toxic? So in closing, all this could have been prevented if the police would have been did their job way back in 2015 when he first started shooting at people. And also 2018 when they have video. And if you want to see the video, I'll put a link below. Well, you can go check out the video of him and the whole family jumping on the guy, beating the living hell out that man. Now, anyway, to the family of Cyrus Belton, I want to say my condolences once again. And it's very sad what happened to your family. And I will keep you all updated as more information come out about this story. Now, they have charged him with murder. Now, are they going to convict him? Because clearly, 
this is flat out murder. You don't chase nobody from no store. And then you don't chase nobody and stand over them and shoot them in the damn back. And then mysteriously, magically, a damn gun appears or whatnot. Now they're going to turn around and use that same gun in court and say that Rick Chow was fearing for his life, even though Rick was the one with the gun, him and his son chasing after a 14 year old boy. I guarantee you that's what they're going to say in court. Anyway, you all let me know what you think about this story. If there's anything I may have missed or misinformed, which is not my true intent, please let me know in the comment section or you can email me. We can talk about it more there. If you like the video, push that like button. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Become a channel member. Also, share the video with your family and friends. Till next time, you all stay blessed and have a great day. And I will see y'all soon on the next Trey King show. And guess what? I'm out.